We can understand more about Koike's work by starting with the same set of information. Who was she as a daughter? Her mother, Koike Chie, was not just a fashion designer, but was becoming a fashion designer for all of Shoko's childhood. She even left Japan for Paris to study European design in 1954, leaving Shoko and her sister with their grandmother. It should come as no surprise, then, that Shoko's works are on the surface shapes drawn from nature, shells and pools of water, but more fundamentally are tied up in aspects of memory. Shoko's works are not natural, but riffs on the natural, taking shapes from the surrounding world and altering them to conjure temporal patterns and rhythms that integrate with familiar shapes to evoke our own perceptions of past events. With the creative pursuits of her mother so firmly tied up in her own memory, it fits that her sculpture takes the experience of memory and gives it form, but how does she physically give life to these remembered experiences?